ozone depleting chemical that we are controlling is R22. That is uh, HCFC, it's hydrochlorofluorocarbon 22 used mostly in air conditions. We are implementing a quota system thereby reducing the volume of virgin refrigerants that come in to service this equipment. And now it has become very necessary that we cut down substantially on what originally we've been allowing to come inside the country. So by the close of the year, in fact, R22 is going to undergo continued restricted supply. So those who use these refrigerants in their equipment should also take note. And we're not only going to put controls on the refrigerants, but the equipment itself that come into the country, we are also going to subject that to a quota regime because we have an obligation to meet. By 2030, we should phase out the importation of air conditioners that run on R22. So the public should be informed and make informed choices. The issue is a patronage of ozone depleting products should be discouraged. Such as? Much as, okay, such as maybe refrigerators that run on uh, ozone depleting chemicals, air conditioners that run on ozone depleting chemicals. Thankfully, since 2010, we have done away with uh, aerosol sprays that were running on CFCs. We have phased out the use of CFCs as uh, blowing agents in the foam industry. This was an investment project. We gave them money to convert their production lines to move away from CFC level. Methyl bromide, which was being used for, uh, for, for pest control and fumigation, have also been phased out. So all user sectors of ozone depleting chemicals are being sensitized. So they move away from the ozone depleting chemicals to alternatives which are good for the environment. And uh, when you talk of nutrition, we're saying that if the ozone is depleted, it allows more of the UVB radiation to seep through. And if it so happens, it impacts negatively on the quality, that is the nutritional value of crops, particularly crops like soybean, sorghum, rice, and the like. So that is the effect of ozone depletion. Collectively, we should all try to do away with the use of ozone depleting chemicals. Fortunately, we do not manufacture. We are net consumers. So the equipment and other uh, items that use ozone depleting substances should be discouraged. And once they are discouraged and the virgin refrigerants or chemicals don't come in, then it means we are phasing out the chemicals and the products as well. Then we would have a healthy environment.